I know you are here for another episode of I ain't, I ain't gonna say nothing, but so we got some good stuff we're gonna cover in too. So let's get right into it. I ain't gonna say nothing, but ladies, and let's speak to y'all for a second. So I understand y'all all about maintenance. I really do. I get it. You know, you like to get your hair done, you like to get your feet done, and you like to get your nails. And that's one we're gonna discuss. Your nails. Now, I understand like some women. They like the really small ones or the, the medium ones or the long. But if you got to go super, super long, like, come on, bro. Really? Like, I ain't going to say nothing. But that shit looks stupid. Really stupid. And I know it has nothing to do with me. You buy what you want to buy. That's fine. But explain this to me. How are you just like, how you, why you always got to go like this? Like this. Like that. I don't get it. Like, what? Why you gotta go like that? Like, ex explain that one to me. That you have to pull it out with the side just to get it. Like, eh, eh, like I, eh, eh, I'm trying to get it. You know, like something like this. So, I ain't gonna say nothing but why. Why are you paying that money for your nails to look like that? I, like, you know, some of the designs, they look good. Don't get me wrong, they do. But it just doesn't look good on you. I'm just saying like it just doesn't look good on you and then you waste your money and then you'll have like Ling Ling beefing you up to where oh you look good you look so good you you pay I can give you whatever you want like why can't you just get something that's like short me intermediate immediate long but it doesn't need to go super super long especially if you work in a regular job like a regular job like if you just well, if you're like a sandwich artist or you <laughs> you work at Subway or you maybe you work at Walmart or you're doing some type of job to where you need your hands. Why do you get your nails so super fucking long? Like what sense does that make? Really, what sense does that make? Like make it make sense for not just me, but for all of us. Why is it, does it go into your mind like, yeah, I'm going to go into the salon today, get my nails done. They're going to look super cute. But how is super long, super, super cute? And then you get them at a curve and at a point to where it's so fucking sharp. Like, you want me to hold your hand? Like, no, I'm not holding on to those steak knives. Fuck that. It ain't happening. It is not happening. I'm not putting my hands in jeopardy just because you want to look a certain way. So I ain't going to say nothing. But super long nails are fucking stupid. Really stupid. I ain't going to say nothing. But I am not one to judge people. No one should ever judge anybody about what they're doing because it's their own life. We all make choices for the betterment of our understanding for our own survival. So we do what we want to because we feel as though it's uh, what, we're, we're, what we're supposed to do in a sense. Well, I'll say this. I'm going to judge you because you make stupid fucking decisions. Why? It's because... If you're doing whatever you're doing to get your money, hey, boo-boo, make your money. That is on you. You need to make sure you take care of you. But when you're taking care of you, take care of you to where it makes sense. You need to have some type of personal perspective that it makes sense. So if you think you're going to be an OnlyFans model, well, okay, that's your perspective. But, and I say this, but... Who really wants to pay to see you naked? Like, look yourself in the mirror and actually ask yourself, does anybody want to see this beautiful box of bullshit naked? Yes. And then if you are able to come to an agreement with yourself while looking in the mirror and you said, okay, people want to see me naked. Do you have an actual price that is fair? To where you could charge people monthly for a monthly service to where they actually want to see you naked they want to see that blown out cooch you got from four kids and then the other random negroes that you just had been coming in you like it's a fucking cream sickle and then i mean you have no back at all you just got two legs all the way up to your shoulder so you know you just look like a walking stick and yeah you're 
you, you got titties that look like someone put you in a full Nelson. So you got orangutan titties. So they just far apart. Like they're not supple or anything. I'm not saying that I'm judging people. I'm just trying to understand what makes you think you can charge people to want to see you naked, half naked, fully new, non new, whatever you do, whatever your niche is to where you think you can contribute to the adult entertainment <laughs> for the cardinal sins of the flesh. Yes, what makes you really think that someone wants to pay to see you naked? Like, really, really think about that. Like, everybody thinks they can get on OnlyFans and just sell themselves. Okay, but you also have to be comfortable with, like, people are going to see you and you're going to be judged. You're going to have people who are going to be stalking you and hit you up and thinking you're one way when you really are not. Everybody has an opinion, no matter what it is of what. Someone's going to say something about something. It does not matter. But can you handle? Can you cut the mustard, boo boo? Can you cut the mustard to where you're able to deal with whatever's coming your way? Because we all know haters are going to hate. They're going to be out there. They're going to say something to you. There's going to be some type of retractor to where you're just not going to be happy about the feedback that you get that you will get whether it be good or bad everybody's gonna have something to say to you everybody's gonna be like oh yeah bitch no one wants to see you naked and they might be right but it's up to you to be like well i don't give a fuck what they say as long as they're giving me that money it don't matter well okay you can have that type of mindset but then again at the same time it's like if you only have maybe one or two subs a month like is it really worth it is it worth it to put your own is it really worth to put your own self out there for the benefit of that bag? Because you obviously know that bag is not going to be big enough because you only got two subs. And if you're charging $10 a head, that's $20 a month, plus whatever taxes and fees they might take. So if anything, you might as well just go take that $40 stroll and just be a real prostitute. Like, give up your body. At least for that, you might get your money. Well, you might get some of it. I mean, I don't know how this works. I, I just, I see it and, you know, people make posts and make comments about it. But yeah, check out my OnlyFans, blah, blah, blah. And like, okay, so it's it's out here. People are doing it. We all know they are. Just it's one of those things that people talk about it, but they don't really want to talk about it. No one wants to make a comments because every time there's some type of retractor about what someone else is doing, they are a hater or they need to mind their business. Well, in order to mind our business, don't fucking put your business out there. Don't say that you're a content creator, but the only content that you're creating is taking off your clothes because that's really not creating anything. That's more like, uh, nope, nope, that's not really creating anything. So, I mean, if you're actually creating content for the benefit, for the benefit of others that will enjoy, then fine, do that. But like I said, is your body really worth it for a monthly fee between 10 to 50 dollars because some people are some people aren't so i ain't gonna say nothing but if you're gonna be an only fans model at least be realistic about what you want and what you want out of it because you ain't gonna have that body for long so you might as well just cut your losses while you can so don't be a hoe go take that stroll i ain't gonna say nothing but who is excited for sergio kitchen's release don't know who i'm talking about well apparently in trending topic news sergio kitchens aka gunna young gunner whoever what he was call himself uh was released from atlanta jail this week um and he just looks like a nigga who's gonna tell i mean look just look at him he just he just spells i'm gonna tell i want to get out i want to go back to the life that i i know so who is excited i mean i'm gonna say i'm not because i really don't care i've listened to his music here and there between the collabs that he's done with you know um um mr jeffrey rooms himself uh or you know the whole stu stoner life crew but i just i don't, I don't like it like it you get out before anybody else and you know he just looks like he's gonna tell what i wish we had was more rappers who actually rapped about things that made sense so uh for those out there 
do your research there was a rap group in the middle to late 80s called the fat boys yes and these are them the fat boys were three guys who rapped about what they knew they were fat so they rapped about food they made a song called all you can eat no lie you can look this shit up they made a song and it was even on the movie crush groove with you know the fat boys rum dmc sheila e curtis blow dr jekyll and mixer hyde and even um um uh, uh russell simmons so yes the creator who created def jam so they joined that iconic time you know in the golden ages of hip-hop but now we fast forward some 40 years later and you got this spicy p looking mofo who's telling on niggas because he wants to get out now what i don't seem to understand if you're going to rap about something be about it be about what you're saying because at other times people are just gonna call you a fraud and this nigga looks like a fraud i ain't gonna say nothing but I really don't care because it just sounds like he was in there telling on niggas left and right. Like they sat him down under that light for like 13, 14 hours, just trying to drill shit out of him. Like, tell us who it is. Tell us what you know. And then he just finally cracked. Yes, he might have pleaded guilty, but he still wants to say he's uh, he's uh, pleading his innocence. But hell, nigga, you got caught up in a Rico charge. And we all know those Rico charges. They don't look good for anybody who was involved in that. So we all know you told nigga. Just, just say it, okay? Just be honest with you. Just be honest with me. And be honest with everybody else. You fucking told. Young, uh, young thug is going to go down too. So you told on your boy who brought you into this world. Who brought you into this life. Who was able to give you riches that are far beyond your belief. If it wasn't for one man, you would not be eating. And that is the problem in society. We as black people alone, we live in a crab in a bucket barrel to where we see one crab trying to lift higher and higher, but then the other crab wants to pull them down. Nobody wants to see nobody succeed because if one is, it's like, oh, what you doing better than me that I can't do for myself. So you got to pull that man down. And that shit is just not fair. So this nigga told. You can say what you want, you can think what you want, but what I think and what I'm going to say is this nigga told on everybody, he just dropped it. And it just doesn't matter. So we'll just see how things play out as, you know, the the year ends and the new year comes in. We'll see what happens going forward. So I ain't going to say nothing, but... This nigga told. Plain and simple. So I'm going to leave you some words of wisdom on this one. Um, so remember, people, truth is like surgery. It hurts, but it heals. As well as a lie is like a painkiller. It gives instant relief, but it has it, it has um, it has a side effect that is is forever is forever so this has been another episode of i ain't gonna say nothing but i've been your host will and you know how we do it people i'll talk to y'all all soon